Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Now, security and privacy are hot ticket items at the moment. So this week, I'm going to take a look at AdGuard. AdGuard is a cross-platform application that blocks ads, protects your personal data, keeps out scams and viruses, as well as saving network traffic. So over across on adguard.com, this is a full-blown Mac application. Uh, a couple of other applications as well we'll touch on today if I just go to products. So as you can see, it's cross-platform. So AdGuard for Windows, AdGuard for Mac, which we'll take a look at, AdGuard for Android, AdGuard for iOS, and the AdGuard browser extension. So we'll have a look at these two as well. Go to Other, you'll see there is also uh, AdGuard for iOS Pro, and we'll just touch on that later. Uh, AdGuard for Safari is included in AdGuard for Mac, so we'll take a look at that. Now, as far as pricing is concerned, if you have a setup subscription, you'd be glad to know that a full version of AdGuard for Mac is included within your setup subscription. If you haven't, if you want to buy it separately, you can go across to Purchase. And under Purchase here, there are two different subscription options. One is a personal subscription up to any three devices for £1.99 plus VAT per month built annually, or if you want the family plan up to any nine devices for £4.49 per month built annually. Again, you need to add the VAT in on top of that. Now, as far as the iOS apps are concerned, the AdGuard for iOS is a free app, but there are some premium features in there, which again is a subscription option. Uh, but if you have the full license, if you've bought the full license from the AdGuard website, uh, that includes your iOS premium subscription as well. And the AdGuard Pro for iOS is functionally identical to the AdGuard for iOS application. Uh, the main difference is it's a single one-off payment. You just pay the once. There's no subscription included with the AdGuard Pro app for iOS. Now, the setup version doesn't include the iOS subscriptions. So this is AdGuard for Mac across over within Setup. It's the full version. Uh, as with any Setup application, you always get the full version within Setup. But what does it do though? As you can see here, it's efficient ad blocking. So it will block pop-ups, video adverts, banners and such. Um, you know, the annoying pop-ups that you get sometimes, even asking you to install cookies, it will block those for you. Safe web surfing. So it will identify websites that are susceptible to malware or phishing attempts. Uh, works everywhere. Um, it works in pretty much every browser, so from Safari and Chrome to some exotic ones. And it will also give you an option to filter traffic for any app that's installed on your Mac. And then it also guards against trackers and analytical systems that spy on you. Uh, some quite robust tracking protection filters built into the application. Now, before we run AdGuard for the first time, let me just pop setup out of the way and uh, have a look at some websites that. Uh, have various things that perhaps we don't want to see all the time. I'm not picking on these particular websites, by the way. These are just three that I've picked at random to have a look. The first one is ESPN. Now, I know we're in horrendous times, but this is horrendous. We have this full HM government advert right across the top of the website and also down the side as well. Although I can't scroll down at the moment, which isn't very useful. Let me scroll down. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty, pretty naff, really, that uh, this is uh, overlaid on top of the website. If I go to iMore, uh, we've got a Verizon customer ad across the top. I'm in the UK. I don't get Verizon, so that's a waste of time. Well, this is a UK-based advert, but again, I'm not really interested in being uh, an MBA. And uh, we have some Mercedes-Benz adverts down the side. And CNN International. Now, this is interesting in that if I just go, yeah, this, this is their own advert, actually. You can switch it so that it can stop. Um, the website producing its own adverts as well. Perhaps we'll have a look at that later, see how well that works. There's another CNN business advert and CNN sport advert here. But let's pop that down. Let's go across to setup and let's open AdGuard for the first time on this demo machine. Now, let me just pop this out of the way. So there's some configuration we can do uh, from this splash screen. We can either leave it as it is and accept all the defaults Let's go ahead and say, let's do it to see some of the customization. Activate language specific filters automatically is checked by default. And this is what I mentioned before about blocking search ads and websites self-promotion. That's currently switched off. So when we go back to the CNN site, uh, we still should see those. I could switch that off from here if I want. I will show you how to go in and switch this off later. But we'll go ahead and say proceed. 
That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.